Okay, our second presentation is titled Taiwan MOOC Alliance, Collaboration and Innovation by Associate Professor Lu Mai Wang, who is Chief of Research Promotion Section, Director of Precision Instrument Support Center, Ping Chai University in Taiwan. So thank you very much, and we look forward to your presentation. My name is Rene Wang, and I need to change the USB. Okay. 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 Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lu Mei Wang. I come from Taiwan, uh, Fengjia University. So may I sit? Okay. And. Uh, uh, I'm also working for the Ministry of Taiwan, uh, Education of Taiwan, uh, for the Taiwan uh, MOOCs SPA project. So today I'd like to share in what we do in the project and the result achievement. Okay, so uh, that's our website. I think that everyone be here is believe that the MOOCs is a disruptive innovation for education. So we want, we like students maybe can study, learn anytime, anywhere. So, but how do we do that? So in Taiwan, we have the two projects. The first one is the Taiwan MOOC Promotion Project. Uh, that uh, is a four years, four years period project that ended last year. So this can become another project is the Taiwan eLearning Sprawl Project that continues the MOOCs. But except the MOOCs, we know we uh, totally online, we will to combine to the hybrid and the uh, fleet capital classroom and others in learning them. So that's the, that I want to talk about today. So, but uh, when we want to, to do the MOOCs, what's the big thing is the key man is the teachers, but for the e-learning implementation, that's, that's something is very uh, obstacle to the teachers. That's the barriers. Then for the scholars research, that's the four types of barriers will to cause teacher to hesitate to do MOOCs. First of all is pedagogy, and how to do the redesign, the uh, instructional design for the class, for the online courses, and the individual for the teacher, different teacher, for the students, how to motivate that to do the MOOCs, and the technology. Some uh, teacher is not so uh, familiar with the technology and uh, began to work for the uh, technology environment that is very difficult for them to start. And uh, the most the important thing is, one of that is the enabling conditions, that the university support teacher to do that or the family support teacher, the parents support teachers. So that initiated the environment that would to let teachers to begin to do or hesitate to do that. So it's like the detail of the death challenges. For the pedagogy, as you note, course content, design, and the deliver, that's the different in class or online. And the content design, whole thing will to do Rewrite again, um, including curriculum, pedagogical model, subject content, teaching and learning activities, localization, flexibility, and so on. And how to deliver to the students. Students maybe cannot access the platform to use that process. Maybe teacher cannot to put their contents into the cloud, the platform, so they need support. And for the individual the challenge, for students that have many challenges there, so the students need to be motivated. And for the teachers, that the teacher's confidence is the most important thing. Maybe the teacher cannot to do use this, that one, not use the technology, and they hesitate about the quality and the something, or their self-confidence. 
and uh, they were to consume most of the time to do the videos. And uh, the technology's challenges, so the choose of technology. So that's the cost, access, availability, and the interface, and the localization, the language. And the contentious challenges, organizational for the university, they support or not. So they need the university to give the knowledge to build it for the other teachers to use how to do MOOCs or implement MOOCs. And for the social cultural challenge, so that's a role of teacher or students. Uh, so that's the teacher maybe need to online all the time to respond to students' question. Is that good for teachers? Uh, like the, today's, we had another session that someone asked, are you happy to do MOOC? Uh, so that's challenging for teachers. And the, the uh, contribute to the e-learning and IT. University will to, to think that's a good thing for teacher. They were to rely on that, the quality of the class, and the rule and the reg regulation, the government support or not, the IP and the copyright or the other things. So there's so many pressures to teachers. Teachers want to do MOOCs. They were to go one and one, 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 to, to do the whole things and uh, they can do MOOCs. So that's when we start the project. We think that me, maybe we should to do the whole things. Maybe ready, the university should be readiness for the MOOCs promotion. And the teacher will to begin to do that, and wish to do that. So for the teachers, teachers, they want to do is the development and the implementation support for the university. Because the MOOCs cost a lot of money. So how to avoidable for the university? And that that's a sustainable MOOCs for the university to do that. So that's two issues for that. So, uh oh, uh oh, I need to go. So that's the process to co-create with teachers. That's so university should to teacher centric and uh, to know what's the MOOC's objective. And uh, that the MOOC's will to objective value added and how to industrialization that will to need to cost down the process of MOOC's production and the new technology to apply for the whole things, including production and the implementation. So that's our uh, solution framework. That we think that to do MOOCs is like the solution provider. So for the university, they should do the solution platform that including you should give the technology infrastructure and the information technology capabilities for both teacher and the students. And the students supposed to motivate, teachers support to motivate and the rules and the regulations. Like you take the MOOCs courses that will get credit and the knowledge repository to collect all the experience and the whole knowledge together, let the new uh, teacher to do the most can to learn from the others' experience. So we think that the most development and the information that will have the full face, including curriculum design, course video produce, course implement, and the learning effectiveness analysis. So in the beginning, we should ask ourselves, and teachers should ask ourselves, what's the books for? For the teacher, for the student, who is your learners? So that's the value proposition should be first identified. So when you know the, the books where to provide for our student or for the lifelong learning, so you should too make sure which one is. So because that will to impact how you to do the curriculum design. And uh, when do the process the event, oh, I should to click, okay. So that's with to separate the supporting items, including several things, to mapping the different phase. So for the first phase, so like the teacher need to know how the pedagogical model suggests. The different, uh, different uh, the, uh, 
courses that have different pedagogical models can use, and the training material collect and make because that the IP issues. So you cannot you use it, not just like so maybe CC common creative commons is a good choice, and uh, when do the video produce? So that's the call. When you do I do the uh, the video, so need to do that the cost quality sensor, the whole cost quality sensor, IP and the copyright sensor, and the cost video record edit. So when you to record the whole videos, then need to edit after that, and the IP and the quality should be sensor and to put on the MOOCs platform, and for the cost implement cost localization, like uh. The, the language, the subtitle, that's that for your learners, that's easier to understand what you teach. And the TA, that's the important thing, because that's massive. So many learners there, so need to handle that, the something and need the teaching assistant. And the end, that data analysis. So the MOOCs has the very valuable things. You know that each student, what they do, in online, so you need to analyze the data and to improve yourself the most, or you can to know which student need your encouraging. So that's the end that we will get affordable and achievement MOOCs. So that's the process that we do in our project. We encourage each student, each university to do that and to hold, do whole things. So that's the uh, case study of our project. That four type of uh, teacher, that's interesting there. So that we, to chop all the uh, work the into that is one. And that's a different discipline, the teachers, engineering, science, archaeology, and education, different courses. And the different courses, different teacher, they have a different background, different experience, and uh, how they Similar with the technology use, so there were different needs about the support. But the four things that every teacher needs, like they need to quality sensor, teacher assistant, cost localization, and the data analysis. So that the that's what university should do. But for the each teacher, you need to talk to them and know what they need first, and give them support. So that's our project going. So that's our e-learning sprawl project, and uh, we were to support support that the uh, uh, twelve university in Taiwan to do that. And uh, for the each university, we told we, we asked them to give the university vision and the policy to support MOOCs, and uh, they need to arrange the human resources and uh, give the teachers a method and a mechanism and the information technology support. And uh, they were to work with other platform like the OER and the uh, learning industrial, huh, like the learning platform and the university alliance. So that would give the example about that. And uh, when we do the project, they were to feedback about the implementation practice. So the practice will be another knowledge so that we were to collect whole things and make the knowledge repository and to do to support the whole university to do the project. So that's the 12th university. And uh, the knowledge repository, we were to four types. One is guidelines and the templates, analysis report about the whole world in learning progress and the other country under university dude and the OERs. So we include into our knowledge repositories. And we provide that to the whole Taiwan's universities. And we have the platform for them. So that is the platform for the MOOCs courses. So for we collect all the MOOC courses in the one platform so that the, uh, the, the student, the learner can to search the each what they want to subject the teachers courses in this platform. And we have the GSP, that's the English version. 
that have eight serial progress there, including technology, green energy, and industrial. Okay. And uh, we, there's so many that about 435 courses we made in Taiwan already. So that's the whole courses. Some teachers are very distinguished. So we have the one outstanding MOOCs award to the 12, uh, I think, that, uh, 22 courses. So that will be others paradigm MOOCs that they can get reference from these courses, the different courses and the different discipline. And uh, we have the MOOCs platform to support teachers that we have the open EDU. That's the same as you use in Time MOOC. That's the address, open source address. So and we have the open EDUs, the cost website, and we have the OER website. And uh, we have the whole the workshop and the, the uh, program for teachers to learn how to do MOOCs. And uh, that's the one example about the self-learning online courses that we call WAY. Uh, so that's the different, uh, sorry, I'm not to translate to English, but for this one is how to shoot video and uh, how to use the, uh, yeah, the subtitle and uh, so on. And uh, that's our achievement. Right now, we have the Chinese Open Education Consortium. It's by our university to alliance together. They have 57 university join and 16 institution members. We have 425 courses and we have 15,000, 15, more than 15,000 OER materials including and 11,000 textbooks. And uh, except that the uh, consortium we mentioned before, and uh, we have other things, that's the teach university and the university inter-organizational collaboration. So that's the uh, university. That's uh, university teachers to do the one MOOC together. So that's the teachers will to arrange the whole syllabus first. And uh, maybe someone to responsible for this one and another for others. And so on, and we have the, to work with the, collaborate with the industry. So that's the company name. So that's the company where to know the, what, what they need, the human uh, uh, skill from the college, graduate college students. So they will know, that's our, what, what we mentioned about the value, value proposition. So they should arrange the program. So that's the IOT specialization program here. And uh, another one is the international course collaboration. There's one uh, university, Doha University, to work with the uh, Malaysia uh, University, the, another teacher, that both teachers to do the same MOOCs together. Uh, that we talk about uh, that University this morning too. We were to collaborate together and get some courses together. So that's an example. And uh, uh, we just mentioned before that some practice we are to that each school have the practice and they were to have the standard operation procedure. So the, that procedure will give to our idea and to to do the arrange to for our knowledge repository too. So that's the two example about the IP copyright sensor procedure and the video production procedure. So we collect you into the knowledge systems. So we call that the Taiwan Knowledge Systems. The framework, uh, that's the book, names MOOCs Instructional Guideline. So teacher can to use the book to help themselves to do the MOOCs. And uh, we have the FAQ. And uh, we have, I think, uh, two more thesis paper, the book. And uh, that's another one is we use the MOOC to teach it teachers how to do MOOCs. We name MOOCs on MOOCs. Uh, so that's the Professor Wang name. Uh, Professor Wang name, yeah. So that's the, this one is like the level one, two, three. Right now we have the three courses. 
and uh, uh, it's open our open EDU website. So if you interesting are interested in this one, you can go there. That's the English version. Uh, you can choose one and learn something from that. So at the end of the year, we have the one party like you do these two days. We call that e-learning and open education forum. So in this year, we have the, I think that's the, the third year about that one. So we will to uh, union the whole university and the teachers together, share each one's experience and to learn from others. So that's what we do about the collaboration and innovation. Thank you for your attendance.